And that's not the end of the stream, that's just me saying that I need to do an actual end of this. Yeah, this is Delta Rune Chapter 3, obviously. Um, so, from what I can understand, um, so Amori is like Sunny's dream self or something, and at least some of the friends are, were actually like neighbors of his, if not all of them. I don't know if all of them were or not, or if these are just his representations of them. I it never mentioned Basil, so I'm not sure if Basil's just like another side of Sunny or something. I'm worried that Mary is actually like Sunny's dead sister or something, and that's why in the neighbor room there's a picture of someone familiar, and it's at like a shrine thing, like a memory thing. Listen, listen, hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. She was purple. You see somebody who's like fucking purple and you're just a normal skin tone color and you're just gonna be like, nah, I'm good. It's like midnight. Fuck that. Find your own fucking key. I'm not opening this door. Come back in like eight hours. <laughs> they had purple everything. <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying is she had purple hair, which means she probably had pronouns. That's what I'm saying here. You want me to have pronouns in my fucking household? Fuck that. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, YouTube. We are on to the next episode of Amori. I... I have been told that I need to water the plants, apparently. So, before I actually take care of stuff... These flowers, they're already dying. We should do our best to take care of them until Basil gets back. Green thumb, water a plant back to life in Basil's garden. Um, anything else to need to water? Water your pillow anytime, Cuppy. Whatever that means. <laughs> Alright, before we move on, I'm going to head back up to the playground because I know there was something up there. Also, the eternal banana. Grass sure feels nice here. Stargazing time. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. I want to get flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. Oh. All the pieces are blank. Ooh. I like puzzles. I like puzzles. Okay. I'm gonna swing to the moon. Come on, man. Put your head into it. Come on, man. Yeah, okay. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Nose looks occupied. Pluto, aka the ninth planet from the solar system. No reward, sorry. <laughs> I do want Pluto alive, correct. Hey boss. Huh? Basil's missing again? It wasn't me this time, I promise. 
Now leave me alone to repent. Alright. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. That is so cute. Building blocks. Hello, friends. Hop and a hop and a hop and a hop. Ah! Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Peekaboo! Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Kick, 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 kick. All right. Um. Spend a little bit of our clams. Basil has got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I figured I wasn't allowed to, but I wanted to be sure. Ah, yes, some delicious fruit. Let's have a little bit of a get together. It's trying to have a picnic. There we go. Do you think Basil's okay? I think like maybe we should be more worried. Hmm. He disappeared. His disappearance is concerning, but it won't help anyone to get too worked up over it. Basil's really trusting. He'll believe anything anyone says. What if somebody tricked him into something? Or maybe it's, he's fallen into a trap? Calm down, Aubrey. I'm sure we'll find him. I know. Why don't you all water his flowers while he's away? I'm sure he'll be super thankful once he's back. Aubrey, come on. I don't like it when you cry. Cheer up. On the outside, Basil may seem really soft, but he's actually pretty strong on the inside. Basil can take care of himself. You should believe in him a little more. Well, when you put it that way... Okay, I'll try to believe in Basil. Thanks, Kel. <laughs> oh, don't smile at me, it's creepy. You're creepy. Well, let's go find Basil. Oh. I think we're starting to see the cracks. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know, that doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go back around the forest. Maybe he's wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. The fireplace is burning just as Basil left it. Ah. 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 Achoo! Oh, a dust bunny. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. Dust bunny is trying to keep itself together. Thirty-six XP and five clams in a rubber band. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, that that was cute. Small plants. They look a little sad. Comfortable looking bed.
Yeah, the cracks are starting to show. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know how to freaking water pillows. Come on, Amori, have some fruit. Fruit's good for you. It's not microwave steak, I do not care. Let me steal the freaking watering can to wet Basil's pillow. To the left. The vast forest. Curiosity, what's to the right then? Because I thought this was a train station or something, that's why I ran this direction. That freaking parakeet? Basil! <laughs> the tentacle really is the final boss. Who knows? Could be. Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock would know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. <laughs> Thanks, Hector. You're trying so hard. Tried your best, buddy. This is no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why are you... Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. Alright. Back we go to figure out what's the other path, because if this isn't the vast forest, then what's over here? Squack. Pinwheel Forest. Foggy Bridge. Oh. But no way. Forest bunnies. Okay, uh so one appears to be angry maybe? Or maybe neutral, I'm not sure. One of them is sad. So let's take care of the red one first. Oh. Aw, Kel feels sad. And now hero sad. Okay, now you fucked up. His party was victorious. 20 XP, 7 glams. Well, the red footprints go up there. Something just occurred to me. Is this gonna be a case where these, if I go left or right, it's just mirrored? I should go back the other way and see if it's all the same. To Amori. Oh, Amori didn't notice Aubrey. So Aubrey attacked again? Okay. <laughs> and now Robin is sending me memes about having 500 cigarettes at a time. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I 
don't want to go to the next screen yet. You got dandelion. What? That looks like a... Have a, has a calming effect. Removes the motion from offender foe. Okay, that's fair. It looks like a freaking watermelon, but whatever. Okay. So we need to kill this one first. trying to get rid of that as fast as possible. Now you're trying to convince me Hero's real name is Bartholomew? I'm worried it knows Aubrey Sabri attacks again. Poor Kel. Big Bone. I got candy. And Appy Juice. Oh, are these bloody footprints, are they just like Paddles or something. Uh, let's use some candy. That way everyone gets XP. Back to my strap from four. Annoy yourself. And then hero just attacks. There we go. You can do it! Hey, Kel. Honestly, realistically speaking, I should just be beating this one up then. If I've made the other one sad, then it's probably good enough. Ow! That hurts. Hey, Kel. You can do better than that. I'll show you. Oh, so she gets to copy other people's emotions. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, get decimated. 32 XP, that should be enough for a level up tofu. Amori got to level 4. Just Amori currently, though. I'm definitely feeling the pain right now. You got some jacks. Nice. This game's absolutely charming. Squack. Pinwheel Forest. Foggy Bridge. Okay, I'm gonna check the way over here. Should also probably go up and heal. Let's abuse these strats as much as possible. Okay. Let's 
Quack train station foggy bridge so it is different but there's foggy bridges on each side I guess this thing needs a dive right now But heal him. I guess that was enough to finish him. Aubrey go to level four, as did Hero. Poor Kel. Well. A hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. Well, that's for later, I guess. So much. Six clamps. Go to level four and learn to rebound. What does rebound do? Is it just like a counter skill? That was Hero, not Kel. There's Kel. Deals damage to all foes. Oh. Nice. Cool. That'll help us get more XP faster, which will get everyone stronger. Try out rebound. Kills the ball, bounces everywhere. Okay, good. Mm. Come on, Cal. You don't have to die. I know I didn't really need to do rebound. I didn't really think about it. I forgot that it would auto go to that one. Oh, well. Apple juice. So I get to the train station up there. Keep grinding the free... Oh, life jam. That's probably a revive item. Cherry soda. Don't have any idea what that is. Carbonated Hell Sludge. <laughs> That's funny as hell. 25% of juice. And Life Jam. It fused with the Spirit of Life. Revives a friend that is toast. Oh, you put the jam on toast. That makes sense. That's cute. Okay, um... Hero... Let's have you cook up a meal. Kel, Aubrey, and I 
guess for a Mori, I will use up Mori, seriously, Tofu only gives five hearts. That's rough. Soft cardboard, basically. That's funny. Okay. Hero's the only one not at full now. Chocolate. Nice. Banana smoothie. That's probably great. <laughs> Why is it upside down? Why is it upside down? This is silly. Hey, hero. Your turn. So I guess Kel's like a speedster kind of thing? Yeah, I'm vibing with it. It's a lot of fun. This is different. A three-leaf clover. Is that a charm? Yep, luck plus three. Uh... Check everyone's stats, but... You only have three luck to begin with. Kel has seven luck, so it might be good to add to give to him. He also seems to be fast. Attack of 11. Attack of 11 as well with a speed of 12. Yeah, I think it might be best to give the three of Clover over to... Hell. Well, Amori has 10 speed and 14 attack. He's a little bit le This would bring Amori's luck just above Kel's. So yeah, don't do that. Kel's on a constant sugar rush. I 100% believe that. Especially considering how many times we've had candy already. You got tofu. That's 5 HP. Alright. Free XP and clams. Well, I've gotten everything I can this far. Go fight the tree, whatever that means. Tentacle, it's here. Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil's in this forest. But we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Mary at the playground and find out what to do from there. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. Amori wasn't looking. It's now sad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> very funny. Still very sad. Plum juice. Okay. I've gotten a couple things. Um, chocolate. 40% of heart. Okay. Chocolate. Chocolate! Oh, it's bacon chocolate. Uh, and plum juice. For seniors. Wait, that's prune juice. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Let's cut all the roots. Mainly just because I can. It wants me to go across the bridge. Instead, I'll go up here. 
Wise Rock. Hi, I'm the Wise Rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. What kind of advice would you like? Uh... Like, way more. Thanks. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Okay. Okay advice? You know what? You asked for it. Sure. Let's give okay advice. Understood. Here's your advice. There are approximately 238,900 miles between the Earth and the Moon. <laughs> I hope this... <laughs> Fine, let's go see what the other ones are. Bad advice. Understood. Here's your advice. Don't be ugly. <laughs> Damn. I hope this helps. I'm the wise rock. Alright. Good advice. Understood. Here's your advice. Follow your heart, but remember to take your brain with you. I hope this helps. That was such a waste of my money. <laughs> Alright. See you, man. We got some tofu out of the deal. Bye, Krim. They're right, this is, in fact, a foggy bridge. So if I go to this side, does it lead to the other forest? Is this a big wraparound kind of thing? B. B. Oh, hey. The cracks are starting to show. Anyway. How dare you be happy in this household? Um, Sad will overwrite that. You need to go down, though. Okay, Amori apparently just can't be passed, too. I just need to keep that in mind. Amori is not a good one to pass to. Your turn, Amori. So, am I right or wrong? Is this the other side of the forest? Listen, this game is freaking adorable. <laughs> Kel and Aubrey seem to do really well together. Poor hero, being nibbled on by a rabbit. 
by little bunny. Yeah, okay, so this is absolutely the forest I was already in on the opposite side. So, for now. Let's go and take care of this. Always pass to Aubrey. Ooh. Get crit on. Kind of hoping to get to another level before we went on because I feel like we're gonna get to a boss soon. That do be a tree. How do I? Yeah, uh, I have to find the buttons. So what does it say about the R button? The R button at the end of a plank. Yeah, okay. How do I get up there is the question. <laughs> yeah, it's a quality four item. You're right, Robin. <laughs> yeah, you fucking right. Alright, so there's still Pinwheel Forest, which I haven't been to yet. I was already trying to walk around there. Level 5, and learned Bread Slice. What does Bread Slice do? Not that. If the skill defeats a foe, gain bread. Yeah, so all we know about these sprouts is that when they get lost, they get fucking pissed and start just fucking rampaging. So, anytime that we're fighting them, it's ones that got lost and decided to take that all on everyone else around them. Sad now. So Amori is going to use Bread Slice, and everyone else is going to guard.
one for the road. Gain bread using bread slice. Achievement get. I will always kill bunnies, mainly because they give me bread. Bread, a slice of life, heals 60 hearts. That's freaking great. I can farm really good healing items out of them. You ever just want to get bunny bread? Wait. I don't like what I just said. It's a happy bunny, and as such, it must die. Do not fucking golden bunny five minutes at Freddy's 1987 joke to me. Fuck you. Fucking end you, Robin. Level five, level five. Okay. Hey, Mary, I need healing. Hello, everyone. How's this going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mary. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside the forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one geese to the stump. We can't do that. Mori's afraid of heights. But well, what if Basil is somewhere, somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know, but... Mori, you're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little bro, face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Amori, it's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know about this. You think you're gonna be okay, Amori? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Amori. We've got some real courage. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go to the ladder east of the stump. We'll see you later, Mari. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Amori, you're stronger than you think. Some nutritious candy. What if you slip down the stairs? Um, the funny thing is, that is kind of our already been an issue. Uh, dream sequence thing where I was afraid of going down the stairs, refused to go down and get what well, wasn't even. I woke up from a dream, uh, tried to go down a staircase, was too afraid to go down because I was starving, but it was dark. So I ran and hid in bed and slept until I couldn't anymore, and then went down the stairs and had to fight my demons, essentially, just to go downstairs, because I was afraid of falling. You know what? Guys, YouTube, specifically. Next time, on Let's Play Amori. Um, I'm probably gonna do another episode or two of this before I stop this first stream, and I'm just having a lot of fun. This is freaking charming. So thank you all for coming, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye!